，各位东海岸和凤山的居民，各位新加坡的同胞们，大家晚上好。这个地方对我很特别，因为我有很多亲戚和朋友都住在这里。我的母校丹马西初级学院 s t Patrick's） 和 s t Stephen's） 也在这里附近。Good evening, dear residents of East Coast GRC and Fengshan SMC, dear Singaporeans. I'm also sure that there must be many residents of Marine Parade GRC here too. I'm Yi Jian Zhong, Workers' Party candidate for Marine Parade GRC. During the last election, I also spoke. At this stadium, I'm very happy today that we have very good candidates for the East Coast GRC and Fengshan SMC. I have worked with fellow NCMP Jero Giam on many parliament and party work. He's hardworking and passionate. Professor Daniel Goh has been a key pillar in our policy research. I've also often worked with Leon Pereira. Especially in policy research on economics, Ferus is a committed and very principled person. Dennis Tan first joined me in house visits in 2011, and he has been since then diligently involved in many aspects of the party work. I am very happy that he is our candidate for Fengshan SMC because many of my relatives are in Fengshan SMC. And they will be well taken care of by Dennis when you elect him into parliament. As you have heard, the blue sky rises first in the east, and with the blue sky, there will also be the blue marine. Remember, marine is blue, not white. Please vote for our candidates in East Coast GRC, Fengshan SMC, Marine Parade, and in the other constituencies that we are contesting in. Today, I want to talk about a topic that is very close to my heart, and that is fear. Fear is very real and personal to me. The first fear I wish to talk about is the fear of being involved. As an active participant in the political process, fear had kept me from being involved in the Workers' Party until 2011. I had long wished to be part of the fight for a better Singapore by building a stronger alternative to the PAP. I had been critical of policies in the forum pages of newspapers and in government policy work group that I've been involved in, but. Taking the stand against the PAP in the political arena was something else. I remember that in 1994, prominent government critic Catherine Lim was taken to task by then Prime Minister Mr. Goh Chok Tong for stepping over the out of bounds of OB markers. Mr. Goh had told Ms. Lim that if a person wishes to comment regularly on politics, the person should do it in the political. Arena. I was also a critic, and also one who did not yet dare to do it in the political arena. Many of the contracts in my businesses are with the government. Even after I had sold away my main business, I still had to deal with the fear that are in my family members. I had to deal with their strong objections for me to be in the opposition. But I'm very thankful that they, had, that I eventually received their blessings in time for the general elections 2011, and they have since became some of my strongest supporters. Thank you. <laughs> Having taken that leap of faith, I have learned that I can overcome fear. As long as one is responsible and rational, people will accord to you respect. My businesses are still 
now mostly with the government. It has not suffered. I'm especially grateful to my alma mater, Tamasic Junior College, for giving me the Distinguished Alumnus Award in 2013, two years after I've entered opposition politics. My friends have also not deserted me. For Singapore to have a credible alternative, we need people who are unafraid to step into the political arena. Today, we present to you 28 candidates. I know there can be more. People need to overcome their inner fear. The second fear that I want to talk about is the fear that some voters have that your vote is not secret. I know that it is secret because I took part in the last January elections and we had witnessed the ballot boxes, the papers being sealed in boxes after counting with our signatures on the seal of the boxes. The boxes were taken to be burned six months later. We had the responsibility to check that our seals are still intact in the boxes before they are burned. Now, two days ago, I was in a condominium interacting with residents, and this question was asked. One of the volunteers, a doctor in a restructured hospital, shared with the group openly that, shared with the group that he has made known openly that he has been and will be voting for opposition, and he continues to receive his promotions. Your vote, your vote is secret. Your vote is your sacred choice. You can choose freely who you want to support. You need not fear who you want to vote. I have been voting for the opposition for many years, and I've not been deprived of opportunities, nor has my businesses suffered. The third fear I want to talk about is the fear of a freak result. At every January election, the PAP will tell you about freak elections in one way or another. Now, with all 89 seats being contested, they are saying it again. First, it is extremely difficult for an opposition to win an election, especially in seats that, are, that the PAP is the incumbent. I know this because I've worked very hard in the last January elections and I came 1% short. The closer you are to the 50% mark, the harder it is to win the swing voters. But of course, we continue to try as hard as we can. The PAP knows the election's results by precincts, which they can study to decide electoral boundaries. The GRC system works to their benefit as they can best decide how to configure to strengthen their chances. In any case, the election's results reflect the will of you, the people of Singapore. Election's results should be respected. Fourth, is a fear that investors will go away if our results are not favourable to the PAP. We should not be having this fear. Many developed countries of comparable population sizes to Singapore have been able to have changes of government without any major issues. Now, let me ask, is it more risky to put all your eggs into one basket, into one party? What if the party fails? All the more, we should continue to ensure the future of Singapore by ensuring that there will be continued leadership in the alternative camp. This January elections, you will see many young and professionally competent candidates that the Workers' Party has offered to you. I strongly believe that we can build up alternatives that are respectable, rational and responsible. Investors will not be afraid when this is so. The only people who will be afraid will be the PAP. Finally, there is a fear that the PAP has been trying very hard to put into all of you that you will vote the alternative in. 
Your estate will be a mess. Your town will be a mess up. The people of Aukang, Aljunit, and Pongo East have already showed the way. Thank you very much. Their lives has gone on as per normal. A few days ago, the newspaper reported that the residents in Aljunit have seen more of the human touch in their town. And after years of brave voters of opposition was resisting PAP upgrading carrots, the PAP has relented on their bad policies of, voting, of upgrading for votes. Today, you see leaves and estates being improved in Aljunit, Aukang, and Pongo East. Thanks to all of you. Our commitment, our firm commitment, will be to ensure that your estate will continue to be run well. American President Franklin D. Roosevelt has said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Dear Singaporeans, fear will only set you back. Fear will stop you from realizing what we are capable of. We need to empower ourselves to build a better future. Come September 11, vote with your heart. Vote without fear. Vote the Workers' Party. Empower your future.